Um, since HPV is the most common sexually transmitted disease, a lot of studies have focused on sexual activity as a means to developing HPV-related head and neck cancer. One study reported that um, if an individual had more than six lifetime oral sexual partners, they had a five-fold increase risk of developing um, HPV-related head and neck cancer. However, um, if you were to ask a group of patients who have HPV head and neck cancer, 50% um, or more would say that they've never had that many lifetime oral sexual partners, which then begs the question, is there a risk factor that we're missing um, in trying to understand how patients develop HPV-related head and neck cancer? We haven't identified all the risk factors, and so with that kind of overlying thought that this may be transmitted through oral sex, which may not be the full story, people are shy about talking about it. I actually think, you know, since HPV is so commonly, um, it's a common infection that majority of people clear, I view it more as a as problem with the immune system being able to recognize the virus. And it's this 10% of people who go on to develop persistent infection or unable to clear the infection, it, something's, um, something's um, up, you know, something is missing in their immune system that's preventing them from clearing it.